Do you want realistic destruction in simple way? I think you are in the right place. Warriors around don't get caught in the mosh pit. The fuel to the fire ain't nobody can stop it. The trouble in my city, but you know I'm a cross. I got a 40 on my hip and I'm liable to spark it. Throw down these hits, my click is indivisible. I aim you duck, I squeeze now. Hi again, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel. Okay, without further ado, let's begin. As you can see, I did a lot of destruction tutorial. Everyone loved destruction in Houdini. You see that? But this destruction you see here, it's from real footage. You see? Wow. This is amazing. It's so realistic. You see, that's hard to achieve. For example, this car, you see that? Man, love it. So, this was the inspiration. Can I do that in simple way in Houdini? Can I achieve that in less and time efficient in Houdini? I don't know. So instead of doing that from scratch, I have a plenty of project file destruction tutorial on my Patreon, as you can see. And yeah, I will pick one of them. For example, this beautiful beast, this amazing one. And yeah, as you can see, we have a many node in here in first place so that's horrible to manipulate because this is uh, this file project is optimized for the uh, this uh, beautiful piece uh, tutorial but you see it's many nodes so this is a problem what i can do instead of that let me see if houdini have any destruction node any option for destruction we have rbd and even i have a lab uh, node side effects lab and we have destruction great but yeah now that so let's search destruction wow we have destruction x what is that okay this is a new node let's see we have a geometry guide and collision let's see for example let's Let's have a cube. I want to see what is that node. Okay, cube for example here and maybe that and let's play. And let's see, boom, great. We have something. Maybe let's bring the string down and scatter point up and let's reset the simulation. Boom, with one node? it's unbelievable <laughs> great so we have this amazing node called destruction x and doing that with one node you see it will take an object and it will turn that to the uh, destruction and we have this dust selection this is a particle and from visualization apparently we, we can see that and of course let's bring that to simulation and boom amazing great we have some particle as a dust and as a debris you may say and for example we have that amazing so uh, now let's see what's this not doing and we have a pyro pyro tap smoke amazing and this is, of course, a smoke selection for the pieces because any pieces on destruction have a smoke and dust. And yeah, this is amazing. For example, I need these uh, pieces uh, based on speed and uh, based on size. And boom! <laughs> amazing! So, I love it. The truth is, this is called digital asset. We did that. We created this digital asset for our project. Yeah, <laughs> boy. This uh, digital asset meant to be simple, optimized, yet realistic result to achieving destruction in Houdini because we are doing uh, destruction uh, oftenly. So what is digital asset? Digital asset, it's pack of tool in one note. These days, everything is digital asset. For example, let me bring this uh, RBD bullet solver and you can right click on that and uh, allow editing content and you can see it's full of node 
So this is tool set, like ours, Destruction X, you see? Of course, these HDA files is contain a digital asset. You can import that by file, import digital asset, or double click on that. Simple, right? Okay, let me show you our uh, asset here. We have amazing guide button. It will take you in our website. And as you can see, this web page contain all the description about Destruction X. What is that? And the different uh, element of the simulation. We have RBD and dust as a particle and pyro. And we have this uh, input uh, description and we have the setting as you can see. And yeah, we have the info. And uh, if you have any bug and any problem, of course, stay touch with us. So let's see, can we have explosion for this note? For example, I have this building and I split the concrete because I want to uh, uh, only the concrete. And let's have a destruction from Dyson menu. Fancy. <laughs> okay, as you can see, I uh, connect that and you see, we have this problem with the polygon. You see, that's uh, because the material fracture and we have this fracture mode and I have this flat mode. And as you can see, it will uh, do a great job for this uh, uh, artifact. So as you can see, the, uh, the polygon is on touch and we have this guide input. What is that? For example, let's have a sphere here. Okay, we have this sphere. Let me place it in here. For example, I have, I, I need explosion and let's reset the simulation and good, not bad. We have something, but having said that, it can take point velocity as a guide. So I have this point velocity with this vector and you see, and now let's play. It can simulate the explosion. You see that? And of course you can bring the constraint strength down and voila, that's amazing. Just with one note without any configuration. That's amazing guys. So if you like this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Let's proceed. Okay. What if we have this instead of the sphere? You see that? And let's see. As you can see, it can take deform uh, geometry as an input, as a guide. Sorry. You see that? It's this, this is the spiral. Uh, as a geometry and amazing it will grow and let's bring the constraint strength up and boom you see lovely so guide can be deformed and animation amazing and of course you can add a dust and pyro and you can add it with this pieces selection and visualization and boom love it <laughs> just with one note do you believe that that's what we needed, you see? Amazing. And if you wonder how can I get this note, it's available of course on my Patreon in the shop section. This is an amazing future. And uh, you can buy this note. And this is of course a lifetime investment. No licensing, no blah, blah, blah. And you will get constant update of course. So I'm not finished yet. Let me show you amazing future about this. And for example, if we have this uh, building, it's have concrete, it's have glass, and it's have, for example, wood, and we have different, we need different fracture setup for each this element. With this node, we can do that. We cannot do that, sorry. For example, uh, we can do that, of course, in separate destruction X node, but of course we have another, uh, another approach. We can edit the, uh, content of this note which uh, this is the hard way of course and uh, we have amazing amazing uh, future you can you can build your uh, fracture setup for example let's see the concrete for example i want to build a concrete material fracture and for the glasses i have this one and i will pack that and merge that as an input and in input mode, you can select the input. It's not normal. It's fracture object. And with that, as you can see, 
it, you can benefit f uh, f uh, from the simulation and all the element. Of course, all the constraint strength is uh, controlled by the material fracture in this uh, mode, as you can see. So it's amazing for large simulation too. It's not just the uh, simple toys. It's cool and flexible. And if you notice, we don't have any any cash option. What if I want to cash the simulation separately? For example, I want heavy uh, bullet simulation. I want to cash that. And after that, I want to add the dust. So instead of that, we have this amazing uh, output for each element. So I will simulate the bullet first and I will uh, file cache that. You see the GEO or all in this example you see that we have the cache the cache simulation and after that i can duplicate this destruction x and on the input i can do rbd sim i will tell the node the input is rbd simulation it's not normal or fracture object as you can see now in this one i want to add the smoke and the dust you see that and this is amazing and flexible option that's awesome and of course after that you can uh, uh, file cache each element separately and you can for example for the dust you can have a copy point and uh, create some debris it's uh, not point anymore you can create a debris for that you see and of course, we have a lot of things about this uh, node. For example, we have interaction, interaction sorry, for, uh, with the guide uh, input or realistic impact. We will talk about that, of course, in the future. And of course, I love the people who support me and appreciate my work, the time I am putting on this. So for that, I have this node as a gift for my patreon user for one week you can subscribe for my patreon and benefit for all the content and beside that with this destruction x so big shout out for these amazing people and as you can see our family is growing up so thank you guys i appreciate all your support have a good time with this note goodbye